question. Is the man that you were yesterday challenging the man that you are today? If that answer is yes, awesome. If the answer is no, chances are you're one of those men on Red Pill videos talking about how horrible female nature is and how that guy's a sin but you're not doing anything in your life to make it any better. But go ahead. You can be a complainer your whole life until you start making the moves to change. No one gives a shit what you have to say. You have nothing to say. If you haven't, number one, Increased your income. Number two, developed a side hustle. Number three, improve your overall mental and physical health and wellness. If you're not doing any of those things, who the hell are you to speak on anything? You think just because you watched a few videos of Red Pill that you know it all now? You're probably one of those dude's just spitting nothing but anger. Not attractive, overweight, thinking that you expect a woman's best when you're not even at a mediocre level. Or mediocre at best. How about this? Have you looked into a uh, Male and female psychology? Have you studied the biology of the sexes? Have you even studied a criminal's mind? If so, what books? Put them down below. And don't go googling some good psychology books that are out there and put them below and pawn it off as a legitimate source that you actually read when you actually did not. In the end, only you know in your heart if you're being true. Only you know in your heart if you are functioning in everyday life because of resentment or because you're trying to become the best you that you can be. Ah, so you think Red Bill is your ally. You only adopted the truth. I was born in it, molded by it. You should see the light while you still can. Red pill truth is nothing to me but blinding. All jokes aside, you've woken up to the red pill. What's going to pacify your anger and make it turn into more understanding is real education. Educating yourself the psychology of male and female nature, of the male and female mind. Understand who and what the hell you're talking about. I promise you, when you do your due diligence, when you study, when you put in the uh, effort, look it, you got anger? It's not good to live with any kind of anger. It's important to understand the hell it is that you're angry or confused about. Psychology 101. Understanding your issues. Seek help on how to work through them. I got through my issues on my own by taking this kind of, and I didn't even need the advice. I figured, you know what? Why am 
I depressed? Yeah, go ahead. Why am I depressed? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? Why do women do that? Why do women do this? Started researching. Started studying. Started trying to find legitimate answers to my questions. And I did. If you're going to have an opinion about anything, you have to understand fully the subject of your opinion. Right? Nah, man. I'm going my own way. I choose to be in a relationship. I choose to provide for my family. I choose to put myself first because if I don't put myself first, financially, spiritually, physically, emotionally, I am no good to my family. If my significant other can't understand why I'm being selfish in the moment, we're not on the same level. Simple as that. What I'm doing currently in life keeps my bank account fat, muscle on the arms, and a full mind, body, and spirit. A healthier mind, body, and spirit. A more aware mind, body, and spirit. If what I'm saying offends you, you already know the deal. My man, you know what I'm saying? If you were taken advantage of in the past by women, it's not your fault. If you were taken advantage in the past by anyone, it's not your fault. You were ignorant of red flags. You were ignorant of crimson flags, of black flags, of all the damn flags you want to talk about. men take responsibility for their actions. Real men hold one another accountable so long as the accountability and being put in check by another man is welcome. this quote, gentlemen. Work while they sleep. Learn while they party. Save while they spend. And live like they dream. Some of you are looking on social media seeing people living in Los Angeles in nice cars. Where are their homes? Nice watches. Where are their homes? Nice homes. When are their vacations? Nice homes. How stable is their family?
Don't believe everything that you see on screen. Not even for me, I've got my own issues. Point is, I seek truth in every corner of my life. No matter how much it hurts. You're an angry, sour, bitter person. That's your fault. Got taken advantage of by a woman. It's your fault. I'll tell you something. You feel a hell of a lot better about yourself when you own up to the things that you've done. Because the longer that you stand there, sit there, and continue to just point your fingers at other people, the longer it's going to take for self-realization, for a great self-awakening to take place, because only then can you truly change. If you want to stay hateful, that's on you. Not on me. Not on the woman who hurts you. It's on you. You feel great because you're going your own way now? How are you going your own way when you're harboring so much resentment or hate or dislike in your heart? Where is your freedom? How are you going your own way when all of your comments and actions and attitude reflect the past? How? WTFU, wake the fuck up. You don't like the message, you truly do refuse truth. If you like the message, chances are you're working through or have worked through your bullshit. Good job. I think psychology is something that everyone should study. It's important to know how we operate as people, as homo sapiens. Understanding what drives us. got stuff stacked on his car. Five feet high. Don't be that guy. Ridiculous. You get the point of the message. Work on it, man. Work on you. If you've been hanging on this long in the video, Hit that like button. In my videos, there I always choose certain times in the video where I ask people to hit the like button. I'm usually able to tell. I'm able to see things. Anyways, Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions. Based on my knowledge and experience in trucking the red pill and survival. Y'all take care and stay safe. All you truckers out there, new and veteran. See you on the road.